Hey traders, uh, Roberto here. This is another FX Advisory 3 tutorial. A lot of emails I received this week um, requesting uh, more videos posted. So here it is. Um, and I'll follow up with another one on the Onyx Scalper. This week, um, a lot of trades uh, that were available using Advisory Indicator alone. So let me just show you what I do. Um, I first, this is stochastic syndicator on the bottom, the settings of 14, 5, and 3. So three things need to happen before I take a trade. This is a one-hour chart. Stochastics needs to be oversold if I'm looking to buy. The advisory indicator needs to, I need to have a buy signal, and I need a candlestick pattern. And here, a trade that was taken today. We had a morning star on the one hour chart. Stochastic is oversold. And we have a buy signal. And this trade was taken mid morning um, New York session on Friday uh, the 19th. And this went all the way up to the resistance level and captured 64 pips. So again, you need three things to qualify a trade using an advisor indicator. You need the stochastics to be oversold or overbought. In this case, it's oversold. You need a candlestick pattern. Evening star, morning star, uh, tweezer bottoms, tweezer tops are about eight or nine reversal candlestick patterns that need to appear. Do not take a trade just because price is hitting a sell level or a buy level because the FX Advisory 3 reprints. But if you have a candlestick reversal pattern, that validates the buy signal or uh, the sell signal. Let's look at some other trades. Um, let me look Let me look at the Oz. There were two trades that were taken this morning. So let me just pull those up. Here's a trade on Australian Yen. Again, you need three things to line up. Uh, the first was Stochastics indicator overbought at 80. Number two, we have a sell signal on the one hour chart and a bearish engulfing candle. And this shot, the entry would have been here. That was about 54 pip run. Now we have a buy signal, but it is Friday. The markets are closed. Stochastics is oversold. So we're going to be looking to buy. Aussie yen, but we need a candlestick pattern, which we don't have yet, and we're not going to have till Monday or Sunday night when the markets open again. Here again, another pair, Australian Swiss. Remember, you do need three things. You need a, in this case, a sell level. You need a candlestick pattern, and this one is a bearish engulfing candle. And again, there's the Stochastics indicator at 80 showing an overbought condition. And this, the entry would have been the next candle, about 40 pips. So you need for the hourly candle to close to confirm the sell level on the advisory indicator. You need a candlestick pattern, in this case, a bearish engulfing candle, and you need stochastics overbought. Here's another trade on New Zealand USD. We have a sell signal up here on the one hour chart. This candle is an inside bar or, or Harami. The next candle, you take your trade. Stochastics is overbought. Okay. So everything's lining up and this is what you need. You need all three things to appear. Inside bar, which is a reversal candle after the market rallied from all the way down here, all the way up to a, a sell level on the advisory indicator. You do not take the trade unless you have a candlestick pattern because remember, it can reprint. It This could keep going up and then advisory indicator will reprint. In this case, it didn't reprint because we had an inside bar and you take your trade on the next candle. That was a nice run from 64.46 all the way down to 64.08. Okay. So that's about a 35 pip run to the down. And here's the last example on pound Australian dollar. Again, I'm looking for 
a candlestick reversal pattern at a buy level or a sell level. In this case, we had a morning star, these three candle combination morning star. Advisory three is giving us a buy signal, stochastics oversold. So we take this trade and this thing went all the way up to 64 pips before the markets closed today. So that's it for the advisory three indicator. It's very simple, very straightforward. You just have to make sure that you have these three things happening when you take a trade. Um, candlestick reversal patterns, stochastics overbought or oversold, and advisory indicator giving you a buy or sell signal. If you'd like to purchase the advisory three, just go to the website fx-northwest.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. See everyone next week in the trade room.